Thank you so much, Scoots. Indeed, I'm here with Taz, the uh, in-game leader of the uh, team, moving on to the uh, the grand finals of the playoffs tonight to face the, uh, the winner of the next game, which is Conquest versus Mouse Sports. Incredible gameplay. You guys started out on train, and initially, it looked a little, a little bit scary for your team on train. What was going on during the uh, the first half? Uh, we didn't hit our shots. Like we actually played perfectly against them. Like we knew how they like to play, but we couldn't actually execute even if the tactic was good. So we just came back to standard, and we just started to wait for them for the mistakes, and uh, it, it paid out. We had the ups, and the ups did a great job. Uh, it seemed like Titan was playing a lot, a lot more aggressively, pushing out of uh, of Ivy. Something that looks a lot uh, like it's a play out of your playbook. Uh, how did you guys counter that? I saw Pasha like coming up big, uh, scoring two Ks right there. I think it's uh, about the guys on the alley, about Biali and Pasha. They they been playing there for so long, so they know how to actually counter certain plays from other teams. So. I'm never scared about the alley, whatever the opponent is trying to do. Maybe if they would put like four guys, it would be a bit harder, but then we have uh, other sides of the map to play with. All right, and then uh, of course you switch sides. CT side was was absolutely solid. I mean, it looked like it was airtight. You only dropped a couple of rounds. Uh, was there anything special going on? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, we just played a good CT side. Uh, but I think we lost the pistol again, so we are not really helping ourselves. So we need to work on our pistols, especially on the sides which are a lot stronger than, uh, you know, like on cobblestone, it doesn't really matter uh, if you win a pistol as CT or T. But on train, if you win pistol as CT, you really have a huge advantage. Yeah, yeah. It seemed like pistol rounds were a real problem. I think you guys only won like a one pistol round through the whole series. Um, going into cobble right there. Uh, very back and forth. I mean, the first the first half looked like pretty standard Counter Strike, and then you switched over to the second half, and it was just a story of of eco rounds and force buys going back and forth. Uh, both teams' economy was in shambles. What was going through your mind? Uh, we forgot tactics. Like I was calling strats, and we just didn't remember correctly what to do, how to draw smokes and shit. It's always famation. Fuck. Uh, so actually, uh, we forgot the smokes, and that's why we lost a couple rounds. So it was really, really annoying. Yeah. Oh, I bet. So was it was that more of a communication issue or just uh, you know, basic mistakes? Basically, we just forgot the nades, man. We just forgot them. Wow, that's frustrating. Either way, you uh, you, you took the victory. You're moving on to uh, the to the championship grand finals, exactly where you were last time you were here at the MLG Arena. You got to face off against the winner of uh, Conquest versus Mouse Sports. Looking at that 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 matchup, they're two. Uh, Two solid teams, two, two more underdogs really coming into this position. Uh, who do you think you're going to have to face? Well, I don't think that Mouseports is the underdog. I feel like their lineup is really strong and they are starting to prove it to everyone. And I expect them to beat Conquest, but on the other hand, I think Conquest will feel a lot better against uh, Mouseports than any other team because they might not respect Mouseports. And it's a lot better for USA teams when they don't really respect and know uh, other teams. So they, they can they can have a shot on winning. Awesome. Well, congratulations, guys. We're going to go to a uh, quick break. This is Taz Virtus Pro onto the championship. Stay tuned. We're going to have uh, Conquest versus Mouse Sports in just a few.